if this is your first video of mine and you like what you see, or even if it's your second or third video and you keep coming back for more, please do feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm on the road to 16k by the new year, so I'd really, really appreciate that. This video took me quite a lot of time in editing, uh, probably the most effort that I've put into a video to date, I believe, as well. Um, so yeah, feel free to support the channel. I look forward to seeing you in the community as well that we're growing. On to the video. What's up guys, welcome back to another video, I hope you're all doing well today. So today I thought it'd be a nice idea to do something a little bit different. What I'll be doing in this video is showing some love really to the custom gear creators in the community by showcasing some of my favourite virtual gear sets. Now what I mean by virtual are gear sets that they're not replicas of any real life brands at all, they're straight from the creator's imagination and they're brands that they thought of and created themselves. By no means is this meant to make creators of the real life gear sets feel less important in any way. A list of my favourite real gear sets may well be coming in the future. However, for now, I just thought it'd be cool to show off some of the custom gears in game. You know, show them off for you guys a little bit, maybe give you some inspiration of what to wear in game if you didn't even know these existed. Some of these even come with PSDs as well, so you can add your own name and number in game too. They're not in any particular order, as that'd be far too hard for me to decide on. Uh, these are just simply my five overall favourite gear sets from the abundance of custom sets that we have in the game. All links to the gear sets will be in the description of this video, so if you like any of these you can go and download them for yourselves. And whilst you're at it, go and show the creators some love, some nice comments and support on the, uh, on the different sites as well. Okay, so first up we have the 2022 Life MX Fired gear set. Life MX is a brand created by Tombo. There are various different gear sets that he's released at this point, however the Fied set is definitely one of my favourites. I'm not sure if it's the design, the logo, or the colourways, or maybe it's even a mixture of them all together, but this set really makes me think of some Fox gear when I look at it. It has a lot of similarities with Fox gear. As someone who has had many Fox kits over the years in real life, it could certainly be a factor as to why I like the Life gear in game. I think that out of the four colourways that come with the set, that the cow design, which Tombo has called Pat in-game, is my favourite. Uh, closely followed by the red and yellow colourway. There is a PSD included in this release for you guys to customise the gear in any way. You can change colourways, you can add names and numbers. It also comes with matching gloves, which I always like to see. And Tombo also gives uh, some thanks to some doofus. Yes, that is his name, I'm not just being mean, uh, for the custom stitching on the gear as well. Next up, we have the Fractal gear set by Valor. Valor is a brand by the Fat Friends duo. Again, I'm not being mean, that is genuinely their name. Uh, Valor have released a bunch of different sets, the most out of any custom brands, to my knowledge, uh, at least. The Fractal gear set is very, very clean and simple in design. It comes in four colourways, Dark, Steel, Miami and Light. Dark and Light are definitely my two favourites out of the four. And with both the name as well as the Fractal slash Fragmented design on the gear, it does actually give me some Valorant vibes. If anyone's played Valorant at all, you'll know what I mean. Valor as a whole seem to be big advocates of simple design, something which I personally really like nowadays. Although 14-year-old Linz would definitely disagree, as I used to run some absolutely wild and out there Fox and O'Neill gears back in the day. This gear set does come with matching gloves, which again is great. However, it doesn't come with a PSD to customise name and number as such. The reason for this is... Uh, Valor don't give out the PSDs just to maintain exclusivity of their gear and keep up the brand image and they'll be, uh, to my knowledge, they will be sponsoring kind of riders and teams in the future so again that's another reason just to keep those gears exclusive to those people when the time comes. The next set of gear is part of the Royal Company brand. Royal Company was created by Eruption and this set in particular is called the Royal Myth 2022 gear. I really like the colour combinations Eruption has gone with in this set, and of course with eight different colourways that and matching gloves as well, there's always going to be a, a colour that somebody likes, so something for everyone in this set. I do like the mixture of simple but at the same time complex design, with the almost tribal looking pattern with the swirls. I'm always a fan of white on gear, which is a prominent colour in this set probably due to never being allowed white kits in real life because my mum would want to drop kick me after they get stained with dirt after one race but hey it's a video game now I get to use whatever I like and this set was Eruption's latest release only dropping on the 8th of December I believe so I'm looking forward to see what he'll come up with in the future from him and this is one out of three gear sets I think he's released so far and this is my favourite of those three. Now this next one is one that all of you Jet Lawrence fans will definitely enjoy. Not mentioned in the description of the release however in my opinion Definitely inspired by the Jet Lawrence or Homer Simpson donuts, whichever, uh, take, take your pick on that. Um, this is the 2022 Life MX Confection gear set. 
It's the second Life MX set on this list, actually, so uh, props to Tombo uh, for all of the cool designs that he makes. And uh, also, again, thank you, some doofus, for the custom stitching on this one as well. This set only comes in two colourways, which are blue and pink. However, it does come with the full PSD, so you can create any colourways that you like uh, in the PSD yourself, along with custom name and numbers again. No donut gloves to go with this release, however, um, but I'm sure you can find something to uh, to match it. And I do particularly like the creativity on these, with the Life logo being scattered amongst the donut sprinkles as well. And I also like that he didn't go too overboard with the donut theme. He kept it quite uh, simple. He kept the top half of the gear, the donut side, and left the pants almost completely white. But I do like that. I think if he was to cover the entire gear with the the whole sprinkles pattern, such, I think it would be a little bit overkill and just uh, completely ruin the look of the gear. So I really, really like that he's uh, got, kept, it, kept it simple for the most part, and I really enjoy this kit. And last on the list, but definitely by no means least, we have the Scout Limited Edition gear set by Valor. Uh, the Fat Friends done a really good job on this one as well. Again, maybe it's just me being biased towards white gear in general, but I do really, really like this set. The set was released as a celebration of them hitting 1,300 downloads on their other gears, which I actually think is really nice that they pay attention and keep updated in the community and kind of give back to us uh, because of that as well. Really, really nice to see. The minimalist style looks really, really good, and I won't lie, it did take my small brain a little while to work out that it says Valor on the chest, just split down the middle, and it's not actually two separate words that I couldn't read. Uh, there's three colourways in this one, and surprisingly the white one isn't my favourite, um, but instead it's the reddish slash burgundy colourway. I really, really do like that one, but I, I think it's mostly just due to the uh, the camo pattern that we've got down the arms. Uh, I, I like kits that tend to be split, and this kind of has three distinct sections. You've got the one arm, you've got the centre, and then you've got the other arm as well. And yeah, just something about the design that I really, really like and enjoy. So there you have it, those are my five favourite virtual gear sets today. Again, this list was in no particular order, there wasn't any ranking system involved, so the one I said first wasn't the best, the one I said last wasn't the worst. Uh, it's very, very hard to um, to really rank gears like that, especially when there's so many as well. Um, I definitely recommend to go on the MX Bikes Mods website, and you can actually filter by gear and virtual brands, and there are so many gear sets to choose from. Um, majority of them all come with PSDs, you can do your own customising in there, so if you're maybe thinking of wanting to get a bit more personal gear for yourself, but you're maybe not talented or not confident enough to go into the PSDs and make your own gear completely from scratch, then don't worry, these guys have you covered. Um, so definitely go out there, see what catches your eye, um, maybe you'll find a new favourite gear to run in game. Let me know in the comments down below what your favourite gear is in MX Bikes. A huge, huge shout out to all of the content creators both in this video and ones that I haven't discussed as well. Uh, without any of you guys in the community, I for one wouldn't be able to do YouTube as a whole, and you guys definitely, definitely keep the game alive, so thank you so much for everything that you do for us. If you did enjoy this video, please do drop a like, and if you're new here and you like what you see, please do subscribe as well. I'd really, really appreciate it, and I'm hoping to get to 16,000 subs by the new year. It's going to be a little bit of a stretch, we're getting quite close, but I, f I feel like we can do it, I'm quite confident, and that'll do it from me. I hope you all have a very lovely day, whatever it is that you guys are up to. Until I catch you guys in the next video, peace. Got bad shit all up in my mind right now. Fuck it, give me a minute and I'ma let it all out. I don't give a shit about an opinion, be another dimension when I wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, bitch, it's time to fill the cup. Got no fucking love, I feel so stuck. All my luck, get fucked.